on screen four or five of the sign up process, this tick box will indicate AML applies and expand the screen. If you use the NZBN search in Shakes to find the company, you will now see all of the directors selected here, as well as any people who own 25% or more shares. While this is an excellent starting point, in order to comply with AML, you need to identify anyone who is in effective control or who benefits from the transactions. So you need to review this list and decide if you need to add or remove any people. For example, this company may be run by a CEO, in which case they all might be in effective control and therefore you would add them to the list of people to be IDV'd. You can also deselect somebody who has come through who you feel does not need to be included. If you deselect a director or someone who owns 25% or more shares, Two Shakes will prompt you to re record a reason why you've removed them for audit purposes. If there are other shareholders that own less than 25% of the entity, you can click on the Show More button and they will be displayed. It gets more complicated where shares are held in a listed company, a foreign company, or when a trust is involved, because Companies Office doesn't list all the people against the share ownership. When this happens in Two Shakes, we display it in the section called Shareholders to resolve manually. In this example, the company has 100% of its shares owned across several parties. We list this as a possible trust. If a trust owns more than 25%, then ask for a copy of the trust deed. The trustees, settler and the beneficiary may need to be added to the list of people to IDV. Thanks for watching this video on People for Identification. Customer due diligence is more than just IDV. Watch our video on AML CFT records to find out more, or if you want to find out more about how IDV works, watch our ID verification video.